As far as I'm concerned, they're like angels to me. Oh, they are angels. They are angels, sir. If only you knew. If only you knew. <gasps> what? What? Was, what? What's happening? I am weak. I'm weak. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophia Maffei and I'm a vocal coach, singer and actress. And today, we're gonna be watching Julian Phantoms episode seven, part one together, and I am not ready to cry. So you guys have warned me that this episode is probably going to destroy me, so I am prepared with a teddy bear and <laughs> tissues. Because of course, I am so freaking extra. I also want to say thank you so, so much to everyone who's watching these videos. The amount of love and support that you guys have given my videos lately has been just astronomical. I could not be happier. And I feel super blessed and thankful that I get to watch and react to this show with you guys. But before I start to get emotional with this episode, let me remind you to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to ring that bell if you want to be notified of all my new videos. Some of you guys have asked for a Patreon account in which I could post like uncut reactions, behind the scenes, vlogging of my editing process, maybe we can have some watch parties. I'm not sure if that's something that everyone would be interested in, but if you are interested in, oh, uh, well, uh, in interested in it. But if you are interested, please let me know down in the comments section and let me know what kind of perks you guys would like to have. But without any further ado, let's watch the episode. I have to stop procrastinating and crying. This video is not and does not intend to be a market substitute. Please support the original content in your own time. You can find the show on Netflix like I did and then come back and watch my reaction. <sighs> let's go. Already very emotional like last week's episode was not okay it was my favorite episode yet but it was not okay Ooh, carlos is gonna find him he can't hide forever ghosties oh i wonder if he's gonna be able to see them oh come on gotcha <gasps> oh it's just the fear last time mijo ghosts are not real yes they are adult do you remember when we were kids and they never believed what we said yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a you thing. That's what I said in one of the first episodes. When kids talk about ghosts and that kind of stuff, you have to believe them. I mean, have you not seen any movie ever? Kids are always right. I was always pretty trustworthy. Shouldn't we be more worried about Julie? Alex, I Dad love just you. just busted her. Yeah, he's probably making her quit the band. There's not much we can do about that now, but we can still help. Can we talk about Reggie and his sleepless tops? I think he's been hanging out with Luke for too long, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. He looks great. Carlos, adults not believe in children ends tonight. Ooh. What, what's he gonna do? <gasps> Ghosts are real, huh? Light bulbs burn out all the time, Carlos. Ooh, wrong answer to ya. Oh, I'm here. I'm here for this. <gasps> Maybe it's my mom. He's gonna ruin everything for them. What is he doing? Your mama would never scare us. This is the work of a demon. Hey, words hurt. Wait, oh, I gotta get it on video. Yeah, you do. What are you doing, Reggie? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Dang, you was in selfie mode. What is happening? I mean, you know what? I'm gonna take all the laughs that I can get because you guys told me I'm gonna cry. Just let me laugh. Just let me keep my heart unbroken for a couple minutes. Will you show, please? Thank you, I love you. Woo. What are you doing, Reggie? Do you have any idea what you've done? <laughs> Charlie's face. He does the grumpy face so well. <laughs> Look at his face. Do you have any idea what you've done? I've defended every kid who's never been believed. Some might say I'm a superhero. Super Reggie. We should probably hide before Julie finds out, huh? Oh my god, she's gonna be so mad at you. Oh no, she got Julie, busted. We need to talk. <sighs> Come on, so, be understanding, Dad. After skipping school, missing a test, mm -hmm. he decided to sneak out. Even though I told you to go to your room and study. Let me in, I could have been excited about tonight. Instead oh. of having this conversation, we both ate. Oh, he's a good dad. You were in a bad. It all just happened so fast. These last couple of weeks have changed my life. Oh, yes, they have. I feel so much closer to Mom. And I love that. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. But your Tia's right. 
School needs to come first. Oh, I yes. Know. We need to teach our daughter. She is my child, you guys. And I have to agree with the dad. She needs to pay attention to school. Her music's really important too. Come on, let her be in the band. Come oh. on. But without the band, I would have never made it back into the music program. I think this is my thing, dad. Yes, it is. Well, I'd be a jerk of a dad if I took that away from you. Oh, he is such a good but dad. Stay in this band. You need to keep up with school. Yes, you do. And you need to keep me in the loop. Yes, you do. Really? Good girl. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Yes, yes, hugs, so hugs, so lots of hugs. Come hug mama. Do I ever get to meet these guys? Probably Ooh, Meeting not. the parents. They don't even live here. It's kind of confusing. You kids and technology, <laughs> definitely beyond me. Definitely beyond something. Well, <laughs> it's nice. Wherever they are, they brought my little Nina back. So as far as I'm concerned, they're like angels to me. Oh, they are angels. They are angels, sir. They are. I mean, if only you knew. If only you knew. What? Why? Why am I so invested in these fictional characters? Why, Teddy? Why? <laughs> Let's keep going. You can't get this excited. It's only been like a couple minutes. How long's it been? Four minutes. It's been four minutes and I'm already fangirling. <laughs> Whoa, ¿qué pasó? This house is haunted. We have got to go now. What happened? He refuses to leave, but if movies have taught me anything, when a house is haunted, you're haunted like the only. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so mad at them. I got a spark in me, hands up if you can see, and you're a part of me. Spark in me, hands up if you believe. Been so long, and now we're finally free. Oh! Keep going. Good for cooking some breakfast. <laughs> he thought yeah. you were talking to him. Me and your dad are pals now. Mm. It's a little one-sided, but it works. Look, after I the love talk him. we had the other night, I was thinking that I may have cost you an opportunity with that manager. Let the man speak. He's been stress eating all week. Well, I don't know where he puts it though. It's like burn. I know, but I really okay. support you, man. <laughs> Some favors, and I booked you a local gig. Oh. Best dad ever! I called Flynn, and she's gonna help us throw a party here tonight. Okay. Oh, that's so that's fun. Just a gig at our house. Maybe I was a little early with the best dad ever award. Right, oh, come on, Reggie, give him a break. Some of your friends over. You play with your band, and I'll get some of my colleagues to put you on film. That way, you have something professional for your YouTube. Oh yeah, YouTube's the way. YouTube is one hundred percent the way. <laughs> Come join us here. I can tell the guys. Have a good day at work, Ray. <laughs> it's cool. You don't have to answer. Just... I love their relationship. That is a duo that I didn't know that I needed, but I needed it. Okay. Hey. <sighs> oh, he looks cute and purple. Reynolds, what are you doing here? We need to talk about what song we're going to play tonight. I was thinking, great. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be rooting for this couple or not. I mean, I, I am definitely rooting for them. You know, Charlie's obviously 20 something. Maddie is really young, so I don't feel that comfortable rooting for them. Considering the age of the characters, I mean, I do ship them. You're just gonna take a phone call while we're talking? You know how rude that hey, is? Hey, thanks for calling. Otherwise, people might think I'm talking to myself. <sighs> Smooth. Nice. No, but yeah, I, I think great is a great choice. Sweet. Mm -hmm. well, Oh, is that the one that we heard at the beginning? The Edge of Great one? Uh, actually, no, there is one more. Oh, so cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, profess your love. The easiest person to work with, but I, I wanted to tell you that I, I, I think you make me a better writer. Oh! <laughs> What's happening to me? I started the show on the Alex train, and I am still very much on the Alex train, but these boys, these boys have grown on me so much. I am obsessed. I'm not sure how I would take it if any of the actors ever saw these videos, but you know, if you do, just know that this is all just for fun. I don't have an unhealthy obsession with this show. That's not a thing. Why, 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 why? Obsession, fangirling, moment. Moment is not over, but I have to keep watching the show. God's sake. I think we make each other better. Oh, yes you do. You know what, why don't you, why don't you just ditch school today? Let's go rehearse. Wow, oh, yes, no, yes, no, ditch school I, with him. I promised to have, have school fun. first. Right, you had school first. Now you're leaving to go rehearse. Do this without you. I can't. I have to keep stopping. What is happening to me? I am literally giddy and like shaking in my chair. I need my teddy bear. Really? And he's heading to the love triangle. Gotta go, bye. I 
left. Well, don't you look sharp? You ready for? Oh, a big he's corner? jealous. Oh, yeah. Even after three classes, I still think I got worse. Oh, Nick is really cute was... though. Open. Uh oh, I think somebody has a crush on Julie. Shut up. Oh. Shut up, Luke. Seriously, Molina, I, I, I'm nothing without you. No, no, you're, you're gonna do fine. Aww. See you in there. Yeah, I'll be the guy trying not to make us look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, geez, He's so jealous. Cute. Boundaries. I'll see you after school. Mm -hmm. Killing on the dance floor. Oh, that dancing was so good. I want to see that. Game. I guess we'll just have to carry you tonight, just like we always do. Oh my god, give me that dancing again. Go on, go on. Killing on the dance floor. Boys. I love Charlie. Oh my god. Breathe in. Shake out your nerves. <gasps> Thank you, teacher. I really needed this. Here we go. <laughs> Remember anything about surrendering? You'll be fine, Luke. It's it's Nick, actually. Right, Nick. Ooh. Sorry. I didn't even realize. Wandering, but it wandered back. Oh. And now I'm ready to kill it. Oh my, Julie. <laughs> Be careful. Six, seven, seven, eight. You see, all the practice that I did is really working. <laughs> he bended his knees. You see? I told him last episode to bend his knees. What's happening? What is this hairstyle? I am weak. I'm weak. What is happening? I can't keep it together. What is this romantic, like Romeo Santos vibe that I'm getting here? What is that hairstyle? Oh, his voice. Oh, he's a bit of a Sean Mendes here. God. Voice like an angel. She does have a voice like an angel. <gasps> what is this fantasy Latin tango salsa mashup thing? I love it. This is so 80s. God, why do I ship them so much? <gasps> Those dance moves. This is definitely tango inspired and as an Argentinian, I feel seen. Yes, yes, give me more. I can't, this is so good, that harmony. What? You're not friends. Oh my God. Oh. Guys. <laughs> wow, we nailed that. Thanks, partner. <laughs> no one got to see that. That all happened in her head. No one got to see that masterpiece. What? How is that fair? How is that allowed? Oh my god, that song. I feel seen. As a Latina, I feel seen. I don't know why, because the vibes of the song were very much pop, but like the whole structure of like the music video was very 80s, 90s Latin vibe. I don't know. I loved it. I loved it. I think I remember some comments from one of my previous videos when you guys told me that Perfect Harmony was a song that Madison and Charlie wrote together. Correct me if I'm wrong, was this the song? I think it was. If my memory is not playing any tricks on me, I think this was the song. Oh my god, they wrote this? Like, they wrote this during the show, and the showrunners actually decided to put it in the show? That's incredible. That's incredible. Yes. Yes, uh, give me more. Um, that was great. 
I gotta get going. Good job, man. <laughs> oh, poor Nick, though. He's like caught in the middle. He's no idea. So that was part one of my episode seven reaction. And I have to admit, I am a little bit embarrassed of everything that just happened. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna share this online for everyone to see. This is all for you guys. So don't forget to give this video a really big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, click on that bell icon. And if you really liked it, don't forget to tell your friends, share this video. Cause I mean, who doesn't wanna see an almost 27 year old woman lose her shit online over a boy band? I mean, yes, yes, yes. I am here for this content. Let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in a Patreon account, what kind of perks you guys would like to see over there i'm obviously gonna offer uncut reactions maybe behind the scenes vlogs all that kind of stuff so let me know if you'd be interested don't forget to tune in on saturday for part two and if you'd like to see more of my videos you can click on the link that's right there on your screen i'll see you over there and hope everyone has a great week happy singing